Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Becca and I'm a mom to three. I purchased my mobile home on Facebook Marketplace for $500 and over the last almost two years we have been remodeling it slowly while working full time and raising our family. In this video I'm going to share with you how I got it. I am also going to share with you how much we have spent so far over the course of almost two years. Throughout this video, I will be sharing different clips of the different projects we have done. And I will also be showing the before and after pictures at the end. I'm still remodeling. I still have a lot of stuff to do, but I know that this video is really overdue. So let's just get right to it. I have always wanted to purchase a double wide and put it on land. When my daughter was little, my husband would work full-time and then he also would work part-time and one of them was doing side jobs for the owner of the company and he had a bunch of land and he moved a mobile home out onto it and after they paid off the land they started to build their dream home on their land so ever since I saw that I have always wanted to do that and after my boys got diagnosed everything was just my whole world was turned upside down and everything was just coming at me so fast the way that i work is if there's something causing me anxiety or stress i have to find a way to resolve it if i can so with my life what i did was okay what areas of my life can i get under control right now I bills i don't want to stress about money I cannot put my kids in just any daycare. You guys know if you know. You get calls from the school all the time. Right now, my son's on a transition schedule where he leaves school early. So anyways, as you know, there's all sorts of reasons why it is harder. I mean, it's a whole different world and I had to get used to it. Or, you know, all sorts of things run through your head after you get that diagnosis. Um, you worry about your kids. It ran through my head. If I were to die tomorrow, I didn't want to leave my children with a bunch of debt, but I really had to step it into gear when they got their diagnosis because I didn't need all the bills. So I started to look for mobile homes and get that into gear. There were a few parks that I knew you could move the mobile homes out of which I didn't want to purchase one if I couldn't move it out. I also needed to get into a better school district. My kids go to an even better school now in a whole different town. So it's it worked out even better in my favor. But at the time I was searching in the district that would work for my children and also within my budget. And right before I found this home on Facebook Marketplace, I had almost purchased one for four thousand dollars it was bigger a room and less work i was about to purchase that but i felt like he wanted too much he had so many cats in there the whole place smelled of urine i i just there was a lot of work to be done and i really did not feel like i wanted to pay four thousand for it my goal was to remodel the place before moving in you guys know that we ended up not doing that when our lease was up we just moved into this place sooner and i'm glad we did because the whole world went crazy um what helped me was when i first got the diagnosis i just started to search every single day facebook algorithm is a little bit tricky i am not too familiar with it right now but back then what worked for me was putting in only the search terms that I was looking for. So I would search single wide, mobile home, manufactured home, trailer, whatever, and just get that every day. I search that throughout the day. And after about a week or two, Facebook algorithm picked up on what it is I was searching for. And I started to get different listings. And there's a lot. People do not believe I got this mobile home for $500, but I am in the Midwest, born and raised on the West Coast, the best coast. I'm from Oregon, so I do know that it is so expensive. I've also lived in Phoenix, Arizona, in different parts of Arizona, and I know the cost of living can be significantly higher, but there are a lot of mobile homes that are for free as long as you move them. So if you have the land, you could look into that if you're trying to get your own fixer upper. There are a lot of homes for 4000 and below and a lot of free homes if you move them. There's also a lot of parks that will actually pay to move your mobile home 
into their park, but you have to permanently keep it there. So there's all sorts of options for people who are looking for a mobile home. So anyways, to the story, I was almost about to purchase this $4,000 mobile home and then I pulled up Facebook Marketplace and one morning and just saw that there was this weird picture of a, it was like the satellite picture of the top of the home and it said $500. So I thought it was a scam because there was no other pictures, but, and it had said listed over more than a week ago and I never know what that means. So I just went ahead and sent a message and said I have cash. Whenever I'm trying to purchase something, I don't know if it's because where I'm from, we grew up saying cash talks, money, money talks, whatever it is. I sent her the message and then she sent me these photos. So I'll go ahead and show you the photos that she sent me. And the first thing I thought after she sent me these photos was what? No way that can't be the mobile home. There's got to be something else wrong with it. It's got to have something bad or there's got to be seedy neighbors or they have to owe money on it. There's got to be some story here. So what's up? She was she had bought another home in a different town. They worked 45 minutes away, so with gas and everything. I don't really care about what they were doing. I just wanted to make sure it was their home and, you know, nothing huge was wrong. And if it was, just tell me. I mean, it's $500. I can actually decide if I want it or not. So she had said that her brother-in-law was supposed to buy it and he backed out last minute. They had already bought their home 45 minutes away and they gave their notice and they could not afford to pay the space rent try to fix this place up commute they had a new baby i mean there's a list of reasons why they were trying to just unload this quickly so my suggestion to you would also be to constantly search if you are looking for a mobile home to fix up for cheap don't stop searching i looked on Facebook Marketplace, I looked on Zillow, uh, Trulia, uh, there's a mobile home site, I forget what it was, it, but it posts different mobile homes for sale. And also I would drive around the parks to see if there were any for sale by owner signs. There's a lot of parks that will finance for you. I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to find one where I could pay cash because I knew that Colt could fix it up, we'd get it done. Once we saw it, I told her we wanted it and then the rest was history. So you guys have all wanted to know how much we have spent on this mobile home so far. And it is a little under $15,000 in the last two years. And that is working and doing it all ourselves. We have not outsourced any work. We've tried to outsource work. We couldn't find anybody that would be willing to do it. So there's some things we had to do ourselves and learn ourselves, like the plumbing. So we actually have learned a lot throughout this process, but prior to buying a mobile home, I did a lot of research. I was a part of the Facebook mobile home groups. I read as many blog posts as I could, watched as many older videos as I could about problems. And I just did a lot of research before deciding which mobile home to purchase. Um, you know, a lot of mobile homes, they have soft spots, electrical issues, some of the older models you cannot move. So there's all sorts of things that you need to look into before you just go and search and buy a fixer upper. There are plenty of things that can go wrong every time we start a project. We just have in the back of our mind now, what else is going to happen? when we're doing this project. Because you guys know we've had to replace all of the subfloor pretty much and some flooring we've had to replace twice, learning through plumbing issues. So I will go over all that we have done so far that I can think of. There's probably some I'm forgetting. So we've replaced almost all of the subfloor. There were multiple soft spots throughout this house. The kitchen had a soft spot. My boys' bedroom had a soft spot. My bedroom had a soft spot. It was filthy in here. Like it smelled of animal urine. So we replaced all of, almost all of the subfloor, all of the flooring throughout the home. Some of it we have replaced twice and I got a discounted flooring. You know, the flooring I told, was telling you guys about in my other videos and I don't recommend that flooring, but and now I know why it was discounted. 
some of you have said you've had issues with that flooring as well. And yeah, you're right. It's just cheap flooring. So you get what you pay for. But you know, at the time we had to replace most of the subfloor and all of the floor. There were some rooms we replaced before even moving in. Replaced almost all of the piping throughout the house. New toilet, we resurfaced the shower. New water heater. We pulled out drawers and put in a dishwasher. Brand new windows throughout. We painted the interior. The interior I've painted top to bottom at least three times white. And now I'm adding color as you can see and I'm slowly incorporating color, which is what I love. I've painted the cabinets twice because I did not like the first time I did it. It was white and it ended up looking dingy. I think it was the top coat, it started to yellow. And so I just stripped them, which took forever. It was the longest process, but very much worth it because they look new again and I love them. We built new steps for the front deck. Colt pressure washed this place so many times, which made it look so much wider and cleaner before painting. New washer and dryer, new faucet system in the bathroom, new shower head, new doors. We closed up a wall that was like a fake wall. I have a video I will link below insulated that and framed it up so we could have more space in our living room. There's plenty of light in here. Light fixtures, doorknobs, locks, switches. A lot of it I haven't recorded. A lot of it I did record and haven't put together a video. Time is always time. I never have enough of it. Still going. There are a lot of things I'd like to do. We completely re- did the landscaping outside. My suggestion to you, if you're in the same boat, I, I hope that this video provides some clarity. You can see in the before and after photos, we have definitely done a lot of work. We're not done. I did get a lot of flack from a lot of people about buying this place, but they just don't understand the situation that I'm in. Um, only those who are in the same situation understand. My bills are so low that they are probably less than some people's mortgage and i'm serious and i just do that because that is one thing i don't need lingering over my head i want to stay focused on my goals and keep grinding while i can and just strive for an even better situation for my children so i wanted to share that for those of you who have been asking for the non-believers who think i'm lying about getting this mobile home for 500 dollars there are so many things in the world that I could lie about and that is definitely not one of them. But a lot of you mentioned in the comments as well, you also got mobile homes for $1,000, $500 for free. Families gave them to you. Um, a lot of people buy a mobile home and they have family members with land and they move that mobile home onto the land. Um, also, a lot of people like to purchase land and put the mobile home on a foundation and then get it reassessed and then you have the mobile home land package. I know there are a few of you on here that have that mobile home land package situation. So let me know in the comments down below what, if you're in a mobile home, what type of mobile home? Are you in a park? Did you pay cash? I love when you guys comment, it opens up room for discussion and it's always nice to hear different ways people are saving money or different ways people have flipped their mobile homes. Thank you to everybody who takes the time to share my videos and watch them to the end. I know some of those ads are rough, so I appreciate the support and thank you for always liking my videos. It means so much to me, so please give this video a thumbs up. I'm surprised that I actually had this time uninterrupted to film this for you guys. I wanted to stick to my commitment. I am getting more organized with YouTube, so don't worry. Content is coming your way. I'm definitely going to be pushing out as much content as I can, as my time and life will allow, and hopefully helping you all by doing that as well. I know you guys liked my last family meal prep video. Let me know in the comments down below different types of videos you'd like to see from me. I hope you found this video informational. Just remember if you're looking, do your research, know in your area what the going rate is, start hunting, 
do your research on what could go wrong with mobile homes and if in your area there are people that can provide the services to fix those problems if you cannot. That's a big one. It wasn't easy clearly. And now that I'm towards the end of the bulk projects, the major issues, the most time consuming issues, it is like a breath of fresh air and I'm able to focus on other things and get back on track with my goals. So if you're going through it, fixing up the home, you feel like you wanna light a, light a match and walk away, <laughs> just keep going. It gets easier, make a list, start with what you can afford and start just checking off that list one at a time and know that you will get to the end of the list and it will become a place you enjoy. I actually love telling the story about the mobile home, especially to my neighbors who have watched us do it. And they tell their friends, UPS, FedEx, the mail person, they all have noticed. They're like, wow, what have you done? It's just a great conversation. It's amazing to tell people that I got it for $500 because it is almost unbelievable, but it's out there. It can happen. Just keep, keep on keeping on. I feel like I'm rambling. I hope this video was informational and helpful. If I forgot something, let me know down below. Drop a comment below saying hello, and I'll catch you in the next one.